Economies are built by great minds that translate to productive activities that are crucial in building and developing a society. Development of a nation depends on the technical skills that are available from the local population who apply them to transform lives of other people. This is a key area of concentration in our country, Kenya, as we look forward to realizing the Vision 2030 that is pegged on infrastructural and technical development. Meru Technical Training Institute has been in operation since 1956 when it was started by the Meru County Council to train students in various practical skills. It was then known as the Gitoro Technical. In 1964, the school was handed over to the Regional Education Office and became Meru Technical School. Meru Technical Training Institute and this achievement has been powered by a good management team led by the principal, the deputies, heads of departments, staff and students. This polytechnic is now under a polytechnic council that came along with the elevation. Previously it was managed by a board of governors. Recently great achievements have been realized in areas of infrastructure, staff as well as student numbers. This school is awarded the international recognized ISO 9001-2015 which now marks the departure from ISO 9001-2008 that was awarded to the institution as it served as a technical training institute. Uh, the Meru National Polytechnic uh, has come to being uh, after it received uh, a polytechnic order uh, which uh, elevated it from a technical training institute to a national polytechnic. Uh, this means that um, the institution now has a higher mandate uh, than it used to have when it was a technical training institute in terms of academic programs and in terms of uh, collaborations in terms of outreach, uh, so its elevation to a national polytechnic uh, puts it at a higher level than it was before when it was a technical training institute. The vision of Meru National Polytechnic is to become an international centre of excellence in technical and vocational education and training. I think we are an institution which is on the move an institution uh, that is going to change the lives of the people, particularly in this region. Our graduates are well trained uh, to, I will say, to international standards because we have state-of-the-art equipment uh, in our engineering laboratory. Having been beneficiaries of various programs, like the NDB program, which brought uh, equipment in electrical and electronics engineering, uh, the Votra uh, UK Netherlands program, which brought equipment in building civil engineering, uh, electrical and mechanical engineering. And more recently, the state of the art smart classrooms, uh, which is a new model of training where we can have a design room. Uh, where lecturers can be able to design their, their, their teaching uh, materials and demonstrations uh, uh, and be able to approach them in, in the system to enable the students to move to the lab where now they can be able to uh, simulate uh, some of the designs into models which later can be used for production uh, and this is quite modern and the Middle National Polytechnic is a beneficiary of that. Indeed, that is going to be a new paradigm shift in terms of training. Located in Meru County and on the environs of Lower Ementi Forest, Meru National Polytechnic has become the ideal learning centre for many people. The well-maintained lawns and landscaped compound provides that ideal learning atmosphere for people taking various courses. As the country warms up to the realization of Vision 2030, 
The mission of the Meru National Polytechnic is to provide technical, industrial, vocational and entrepreneurship skills to produce dependable human resource for commerce and industry. The Polytechnic is producing job creators in crucial areas like the agricultural sector that forms the backbone of the Kenyan economy. For instance, we have a farm uh, which has modern pottery keeping. We, it has also have a very nice dairy uh, farm and piggery and uh, also some horticulture uh, production. And uh, sometimes like uh, for pottery, uh, we want the people to come and see a new technology of producing graded pottery, uh, say products like the eggs, where we use the battery cage uh, system, uh, which those who visit our farm uh, would agree with us that this is quite modern. With the new status, Meru County and Kenya as a country can reliably depend on the Meru National Polytechnic as a source of the most qualified human resource in various technical fields. Our students have performed very well in innovation and uh, I can tell you that um, uh, we are the best in what we call the Africa Tech Challenge, um, where students uh, showcase their innovations at the national level. And we have uh, uh, competed against big giants like the universities. This national polytechnic embraces national values of cohesion and national building, and to this effect, students benefit from unmatched support from the management that has put corporate social responsibility as a matter of importance. Uh, some universities even come here to do their practicals uh, for their students here because we have very good equipment and uh, I can tell you technical education is what will rescue this country and because uh, research has shown for every engineer, and you know engineers are produced at the universities, for every engineer, we need three technologists, we need six technicians, and we need 60 artisans. The 60 artisans plus the six uh, technicians, that makes 66. And the, three, and the three technologists, that makes 69. Close to 70 people are supposed to be produced for only one engineer. So tell me, where do we need to put our resources and our efforts in, if it's not in, in, in technical training? As a matter of principle, the Polytechnic offers motorized wheelchairs for any person living with disability who joins the Polytechnic. Currently, the Polytechnic is under the stewardship of Geoffrey Rukunja, who is the team leader of a skilled and dedicated staff. Meru National Polytechnic is working round the clock to upgrade the existing infrastructure as well as putting up new ones to match the new status of a national polytechnic. So what we have done uh, as a polytechnic is first and foremost to position ourselves not only in terms of the, 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 the academic programs that we run here but also uh, as a, 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 a service provider uh, to uh, the community and the nation at large in terms of facilities that are needed not only for teaching like uh, we do have big uh, halls uh, where uh, conference halls where meetings can be hosted uh, and uh, uh, in very very silent uh, uh, and, and say uh, a place where people can be able to concentrate on what they want to do. Our fields are also standard uh, and therefore others who want to have big meetings uh, and of course uh, our courtesy, uh, our hospitality uh, to receive people. People know us uh, as an institution which is very hospitable, an institution with people who, who want to work with others, who want to support even those who are not able to stand on, our, on their own. This is as a result of the increased number of students enrolling in the institution. 
This multi-million building serves as the civil engineering centre of excellence. Government funding has also enabled the Polytechnic to put up a new ultra-modern library complex as well as other structures. Meru National Polytechnic is made of different departments that deal with specific areas of technical knowledge required by the society. Among the departments within the institution is Business Department, training students on commerce and entrepreneurship. Business Department is the largest department in our Polytechnic, which offers very various courses. Diploma in Accountancy, Diploma in Business Management, Diploma in Supply Chain Management, Diploma in Cooperative Management, Diploma in Human Resource Management, and Diploma in Secretarial Studies. We've, we also offer certificates in uh, Human Resource Management, certificate in Secretarial Studies, certificate in Cooperative Management, certificate in Business Management, and certificate in uh, Supply Chain Management. Building and Civil Engineering Department training students on infrastructural related studies that include construction of roads, bridges and buildings, mechanical department for training mechanical engineering students, electrical department that equips students with skills of handling electricity, electronics related services and products. Another crucial department in the Meru National Polytechnic is the clothing department that mainly deals with the textile industry. Accounts and Secretarial Studies is another department within the Meru National Polytechnic. Being the backbone of Kenya's economy, this polytechnic has invested heavily in the Agriculture Department that occupies the biggest part of the Institute's land with investments in both animal husbandry and crop production. As a result of the tremendous growth, the Polytechnic has witnessed a major growth in numbers of the students, teaching and also non-teaching staff. Meru National Polytechnic is forever confident that it releases graduates fully trained and ready to face the market with skills that will assist Kenya as a country to achieve Vision 2030 and also play a crucial role towards the general development of our country Kenya and the world at large. Meru National Polytechnic, technology for innovation and development. <laughs>